Today, we are exploring Formosa. Welcome back to the Traveling Kunz YouTube channel. You are watching the first episode of the Exploring Formosa video series. Today, I'm in Kaohsiung and I want to give you a few impressions of the city. Kaohsiung is in the south of Taiwan. From my home, Kinmen Island, I can take a direct flight to Kaohsiung. If you want to know more about Kinmen, check out my Kinmen Travel Tales video playlist. But now, back to Kaohsiung. I'm here at the Lotus Pond, a very famous place for locals and tourists alike. Behind me, you see one of the most famous landmarks in Kaohsiung, the Tiger and Dragon Tower. It is super hot. We have 28 degrees. I'm sweating as hell. I hope you don't see it too much. And it's really nice to be so close to the water. I really love this place and always like to come back here. I share the location with you in the description below. Even you're in a major city, you have so much nice animals and flowers, it's simply beautiful. And also, you have a lot of traditional Chinese architecture, such as temples and so on. With my Exploring Formosa videos, I want to give you a short personal introduction into various locations of Taiwan. I really like Kaohsiung, and it's no coincidence that I kick things off over here. I like the city because on the one hand, it is a major metropolitan Taiwanese city, no doubt. But at the same time, it is fairly relaxed and really accessible. I'm now in the harbor of Kaohsiung. This is the biggest harbor in Taiwan. It is a witness of time that will tell you the story of industrialization in Kaohsiung. It is still a very industrial city. On the other hand, especially in the last two years, it turned into a major tourist destination because the local government put a lot of effort in making the city nicer and less polluted. So let's check it out. This place is called Hamasen Railway Park and used to be the old port train station. It is now a famous hangout spot for tourists and locals alike. From here, I will also later take the ferry to the Sijin Island. I really like the vibe of this area, because even a lot of people are here, it is never too crowded. However, at the moment there is the Mega Port Festival. So if you walk down the seaside, you can see the festival arena and many thousands of people came. It is super busy down here today. And they are all here for a good reason. With 10 stages, the Mega Port Music Festival is one of the most famous music festivals in Taiwan. Even if you don't join a concert, you can still join other events and performances around the festival area. By the way, the building you see is the 85 Sky Tower, which is more than 340 meters tall and is the tallest building in Kaohsiung. The city is really famous for its street culture and graffitis and live music. And in fact, I'm here also to go to a concert, but not here in the harbor area. So it is time to move on. The highlight of my trip to Kaohsiung is to see May Day Live and that's happening tonight. Behind me you see many thousand other people that came to the Kaohsiung Baseball Stadium to see the very famous rock band. 50,000 people to be more precise. And what is even more crazy is that May Day plays this show four times this week. Each show is sold out, so in total 200,000 people will watch May Day Live in just four days. That is almost double the population of Kinmen. And of course, May Day did not disappoint. But taking videos of the concert itself was strictly forbidden and of course I would never break any rules. So I'm sorry that I can't show you more footage. There was one exception, however. Besides the amazing show, another epic highlight was the reunion of the Taiwanese boy band Energy. And after this great experience, it was time to move on. We are now on the ferry to Tsichin Island, a small district that's part of Kaohsiung and very famous for tourists. The ferry goes over the famous Love River of Kaohsiung. It's a picturesque river that flows through the city and it's a popular spot for tourists to take romantic walks or enjoy a river cruise. As you see, it's nighttime already. However, it is still super warm. There is a light breeze and I feel super relaxed. The city of Kaohsiung really managed to turn things around in the harbor. Today there's a thrilling nightlife, but once there was a lot of pollution and the waters were really dirty. But today it's just beautiful. It only takes around five minutes to take the ferry and I can see we're arriving at the harbor, so it's time to check out the island. On the island, I didn't do so much sightseeing. After the long concert, I really needed a break and it was too late to go up to the famous lighthouse anyway. There are a couple of really nice beach bars over here. Or you can just grab a drink of your choice at a convenience store and chill by the beach. After a drink by the beach, it was time to get some food. 
Of course I had to go to a night market, because even though they are very common in Taiwan, you do not find them very often back home in Kinmen. In the Kaohsiung city center you find the Lihu night market for example. This is what I call a tourist night market and I mean that in the most positive sense. You can slowly walk around, there are dedicated sitting areas and the streets are blocked for cars and scooters, mostly at least. And of course you see all the stuff you expect from an Asian food market. The yellow sign on the right says beef noodle soup. And on the left side you have a swastika, for example. I did not have food here and instead went to a more traditional place, the Jilin Street Night Market. I hope you see what that means, there is constant traffic and very limited seating areas. It is super busy and most people just come here to pick up their food and drive off again. Before I tell you what I bought, I want to show three things that make this place so extremely Taiwanese. First point is the willing to travel. Obviously Taiwanese people love their food and they are very committed to it. They really accept to travel long distances to get a dedicated sort of food. The second thing is if you park your scooter, always park as close as possible to your destination. This counts not only for food though. People mostly drive as close as physically possible to their destination. In this case it is literally the backside of the vendor that stops the customer from getting any closer with the scooter. And finally third, the national sport of Taiwan is queuing up for food. Wherever I go in Taiwan, I see people waiting in line to get some food. Meanwhile, I actually have the theory that if Taiwanese people see a queue, they just line up, even they don't know what's on the other end. They just think there could be good food, so they line up and don't want to take any chances. But seriously, I really recommend to check out the traditional night markets. Compared to the tourist markets, these traditional markets are a bit cheaper and the quality is extremely good. I had some shrimp cake, duck liver and a few vegetables. And I also had a bit more than it would be healthy for one person. But still, this is a great end to my trip to Kaohsiung. I really hope that you like this video. If you do, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, see you next time. Bye!